So just a quick background, fasting has 100% changed my life. Uh, it's made dramatic results in my health and well-being. And I know it's something that's gaining popularity. Uh, it's a bit trendy right now. I know the Kardashians are doing it. Um, there's also way more importantly, there's tons of new research and science behind it. It's gaining popularity, particularly in uh, cancer circles, natural treatments for cancer, natural ways to support cancer and chemotherapy. Uh, it's huge in the chronic disease and autoimmune realm. And so what I wanna do in this fasting series is I wanna demystify and I wanna bring to you the information that helps you understand fasting. Now, uh, this isn't necessarily gonna be where you participate in fasting, this series is mainly going to be really good information on fasting, the scientific research behind it. I will share how to do these fasts, and then you're welcome to jump in on them. All the videos that I post will be moved over and archived onto our YouTube channel so that you can access it at any time. So if you want to just kind of sit back and take this information in, I welcome you to do that. And then you can always access the videos later on. Also, as many of you know, I run virtual fasting and ketogenic lifestyle programs. Our next one will be coming up soon. And so you can also use these to help take that, uh, that experience to the next level when we do the fasts in the program. So just real quick, I want to touch on some of the many miraculous benefits of fasting. Uh, fasting has shown to decrease cardiovascular disease. It increases insulin sensitivity, uh, definitely causes weight loss in most people. It creates a major brain burst. And this is one of my favorite things about fasting for me. As a lot of you may know, at this point, I have chronic Lyme. One of the effects that I had of the Lyme was brain fog which I really don't have at this point anymore, but at any point when I'm really wanting to take my brain, my energy to the next level, I always fast. It's, it's amazing the results that you get. Uh, it also forces our body into something called hormesis. So this is basically forcing change and adaptation, and our cells, our toxic and sick cells, literally cannot adapt. So anytime you put a healthy stress on the body, whether it be fasting and caloric restriction temporarily, um, changes in temperature, so uh, high temperature through sauna or low temperature through something like cryotherapy, uh, you're forcing a process called hormesis. Three main ways that we can uh, kill toxic and sick cells. It basically enhances this, pro this process that our body goes through called autophagy, where these cells naturally die off. And anytime we have these cells naturally die off, our body's amazing and it creates new healthier cells in its place. So whether that be immune cells, muscle cells, brain cells. Uh, so a, a very, very important process and we can enhance that through fasting. Uh, another thing that fasting does when done correctly is it increases our human growth hormone. So a lot of people think that you know fasting can cause decreases in muscle tone. It's actually quite the opposite. It creates a uh, again, if done correctly, it creates a spike in growth hormone, which helps us gain muscle. Um, also, when we're fasting, we burn fat, not sugar. So again, you're not losing muscle, you're losing fat. A lot of our toxins sit in our fat cells. So not only are you losing fat and getting the, the vanity benefits of that, um, but you're also burning and getting rid of a lot of those toxins. So that's a real quick background on why I love fasting. I'm so excited to bring this series to you. So make sure you continue to follow our Instagram and Facebook, Doctors Saunders platform. And that's where I'll have all the information over the next few weeks to walk you through this series. Please comment below if there's anything in particular, any questions that you have around fasting, and I will make sure to cover them. Happy fasting.